Hey guys, welcome to Game Back today, bringing our video, and today we're covering the Beretta PMX. So we'll go ahead and cover this. This is the new HMR9 submachine gun here in Modern Warfare 3. Go ahead and back out, show you this build, and we'll get into some firing range as well as some gameplay with this weapon. So here's the final design for our Beretta PMX. Go ahead and back out. Now, how do you unlock this? There's a new section in the Battle Pass here that you'll have to do to unlock challenges. So if you go to the Battle Pass, you see A21 is now available. And in this section, you'll have different options here to unlock. If I go ahead and select it, different challenges for each. So you have two aftermarket parts, which we'll get into, and then some other things. And then you have the weapon that's there also. So you need to complete each of those, or the best way, depending on when you're watching this, if you, um, if it's still not, if it's not available a later season, just have somebody drop it for you. And zombies is one of the best ways, easiest ways to get it without having to do the challenges. So. That being said, let's go ahead and jump into this thing and start with the base build here. So with the Beretta PMX, at base in real life, it has a 6.9 inch barrel. So that's going to be the one that we want here. You can see you have a little bit of a longer barrel, an extended barrel with an extended handguard, and an extended handguard barrel with a integral or a suppressor with short barrel, integral suppressor over the uh, threaded uh, muzzle device as well there. So that's going to give you a longer barrel. This is going to be better for recoil. This one's going to be better for range. So we're going to leave the base barrel there. We're gonna run a um, Osprey suppressor on this, so the Extend Black Kite suppressor for a nine by 19s. Gonna give us a little bit of recoil control there. Laser option, we're gonna run the laser light combo on this just to make it look that much more tactical. Now for the optic, I prefer the aim points. Either of the aim points, you have the uh, AIMOP V4 here, which is also a really great option. We're gonna run the other aim point here, the Soro 7, I think looks really good. Precision sight pitch, no cons with that. Really nice optic. It looks a little bit better in game than it did in Modern Warfare 2. For the buttstock option, you have the base buttstock, which is what we're going to go with. You have no stock, which is strange that they did that instead of folding stock. You have a hatchet-like stock, and then you have a folding stock, which is not folded, uh, but is more of a M4-style buttstock there. So that'll give you more vehicle control. We're going to stay with the base buttstock here. Rear grip, the pistol grip itself is the correct type of shape for the most part for the real-life version. Um, we're going to go ahead and run the recoil one just to give us a little bit more recoil control and gun kick control. And you can see it's got the grip tape on there. So we'll go ahead and select that. Magazine options, you have the base, which is 30. You have, going to have to select that. It's kind of bugged how it looks at it. It's showing us the pistol grip. But you have a 20 round and a 50 round drum, you can see there. We're going to run with the base 30 round magazine. And then for our final attachment, we're going to run the Magpul vertical foregrip on this. So we'll do the Magpul vertical foregrip. Again, no wrong under barrel attachment a lot of these are interchangeable but maple vertical foregrip i love the way it looks here's our final design for the beretta pmx out of italy really nice looking weapon now some cool features with this weapon obviously you have a full length monolithic rail pick rail on top you have picatinny rails on 12 6 uh 9 as well and three o'clock you can see for accessories we have our laser light our grip um you have fully ambidextrous fire controls bolt release magazine release um, you also have the charging handle configured on the right-hand side here, but I believe the charging handle can be configured on the left-hand side as well, which is what I've seen in real life. Um, however, the ejection port, I believe, is always going to be on the right. I could be incorrect with that. It may be configurable for both sides for the ejection port as well. I'm not 100% sure on that. Someone correct me if I'm wrong. But that's our Beretta PMX. Let's go ahead and jump into the firing range with this weapon. And we'll check out how it handles in-game. So first off... Just do the inspect. I'll show you guys when we jump into the gameplay some of the uh, the recoil against the wall there. But the inspect, pretty basic. Again, good looking gun. It really wants to uh, kick horizontally. And I think my sensitivity is a little bit off to today. So that far target with this particular build is going to be almost impossible to hit. <laughs> you can see there, struggling. But these closer ones... Even that one's a little bit difficult. Submachine gun, the way that we have this thing built is going to be close range. So it really likes to go horizontal. So again, for practical purposes, you're going to want to build to accommodate that instead. Now for the recoil, we'll look at it here and then you'll see it in game as well. Just let it rip. So you can see it's going to go vertical, but you're going to get a left kick, then a right, then a left. So it really wants to pull horizontal. If I pull just straight down on it, you can see it's just a weird recoil pattern. Let's try it over here. So again, the recoil is definitely a little bit goofy with this particular build. 
Um, it does have a lot of horizontal kick like you saw, so you're definitely going to want a horizontal attachment on there for a different grip. Not the best build, but it is a beautiful build. Let's go ahead and look at the camos for this weapon. So camouflages, nothing too great here, nothing too bad. Zombies, again, nothing awesome, but you have different camos here, look nice. Go ahead and look at the solids really fast. Look really clean, cover the whole weapon nicely. Um, some of the geometrics, these they all look really nice on this. So the camos look great on this weapon. Really nice looking build there. Let's go ahead now and we'll jump into the gameplay with this weapon, our Beretta PMX. So again, new weapon here in Season 1 Reloaded. Now, this, like I said, the HMR9 is based off the real world PMX. So it's a 9 by 19 uh, millimeter submachine gun, which is designed from the Italian company Beretta. It was made to replace the Beretta M12 for military and law enforcement services. Now, it was put into service in 2018. The designer, again, Beretta, and the design period took place in the early 2010s. Number of units built were around 8,500. The mass of the weapon is going to be 5.29 pounds unloaded, or 2.4 kilograms. Now, the length of the weapon overall with the stock extended and not folded is going to be 25.2 inches, or 640 millimeters. With a folded stock, it'll be... 8, or excuse me, 16.5 inches or 418 millimeters. The barrel length for the weapon, like we said in the beginning, is going to be 6.9 inches or 175 millimeters with the cartridge being the 9x19 Parabellum. The action for the weapon is a blowback system. Rate of fire in real life is 900 rounds per minute. Here in game, it's around 868, I believe is what it comes in at. Um, the feed system for the weapon is going to be a 30-round detachable box magazine and the sights you have removable rear sights adjustable for windage um, and you have the full length monolithic Picatinny rail system on top there as well for optics and attachments so that m1913 pick rail on top allows you to attach whatever you want so really nice weapon again it is really cool i think it's nice it's a good addition to the game i think um building it up you're definitely going to want to accommodate for horizontal recoil i can see this thing being pretty beastly in warzone for sure with those longer barrels building it for max recoil control and damage at range should be really really nice so let me know your thoughts on this weapon down below what you guys think of it were you able to unlock it i know it was really really bugged yesterday um but other than that i think it's working pretty well today i think they remedied most of the situation so let me know your thoughts down below again memberships are live on the channel if you want to hit that join button if not best way to support the channel is to be a friend tell a friend share the content like comment subscribe if you are a member we do have the merchandise live on the channel you guys should see that below the video as well you will get 25 percent off so if you are a member definitely join up on the discord get a hold of myself or one of the mods we'll add you to the supporter chat and you'll have a 25 percent discount code there if for some reason you can't get into discord the link is down below in, in the video just leave comments here and one of us will go ahead and find that um, and we'll get you set up with that if you are a member. If not, there's a 10% early bird discount available on the uh, merchandise website. So go ahead and check that out. That's just the first batch. There'll be a lot more coming, uh, more detailed designs. Those are just kind of some quick ones I was fidgeting with and got out for you guys. We have mugs, shirts, sweaters, things like that. Definitely uh, feedback is welcome for different designs you guys would want to see, different things like that, phrases put on shirts, different um, types of designs or clothing in general. So let me know your thoughts down below. What do you think of this weapon? Season 1 Reloaded. It seems like they did a lot of work today to hopefully fix the majority of the issues, but time will tell. I think overall the update has a lot of potential, so we'll wait and see. It's good to see you have another LMG, though, and this SMG is pretty nice also. So let me know your thoughts down below. Until next time, this is Buckner Gaming. Out.